So the question was, uh, the statement was, we hear this a lot, uh, I avoid carbs, uh, rice, potatoes, and pasta, right? We, we showed you yesterday in the, with the stomach bag, right, using the principle of calorie density, how potatoes and the rice are actually, you know, misunderstood, right? The, the, the potatoes and rice are, uh, these, these foods have 450 to 500 calories per pound, Compare that with animal-based foods, which are 12 to 1300 calories per pound. If you look at, if you look around, like um, the longest living populations around the planet, if you go, uh, they have always lived on starch, right? If you go to uh, India or uh, China or Japan, you rarely see. Like when you think of uh, people from China or Japan, do you think of any large people, big people? Like oh. it's, it's a difference. Now you see them because of the westernization over there. Yeah. But earlier, uh, it was rare to see large people over there. Yeah. So the, the staple in China, Japan, and Korea, the, the staple is what? Rice. rice. They ate rice for lunch and rice, rice for, for breakfast too. Yeah, yeah, and rice for dinner. And let's say if you, go, if you happen to go to South America, what is the staple? Corn. Right? In Peru, it's potato. That's right, yeah. And in Peru, there, there were rarely any big people, even like 15, 20 years, until 15, 20 years ago, but things have changed quite a bit. One of our friends was visiting Peru recently, and this, uh, they, they've changed their, they, they've left their, left their traditional way of eating and eating more like uh, you know, Americans and Canadians, and uh, now you know, this, all the diseases that we are seeing here, they are popping up. And our own experience is like when we go back to India, uh, every time we go, there are more and more, uh, you know, uh, overweight, people. overweight and obese people, people and there are like, you know, McDonald's, KFCs, these, uh, these joints are everywhere now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And also they're leaving, leaving their traditional way of eating and eating more like, you know, Western. all the, the, the meat and the dairy and uh, so it's like we are importing their products, but we are exporting our diseases. Yeah. But, but to answer your question, when it comes to carbs, the thing you have to keep in mind, whether it's a simple carb or complex carb. So when you take brown rice, for example, it, it is a complex carb. So it has fiber, it has vitamins, minerals, so it comes as a package. But if I take the outer covering of rice, so what am I doing? I'm taking the fiber out. I'm taking the minerals, so I'm just left with the inside endosperm, which is rich in fat when compared to uh, uh, other proportion. So I'm making a complex carb into a simple carb when I'm taking things out of rice, when I'm taking the outer covering. And let's say when you're making that into a flour, so you're making it more processed. So when you make carbohydrates more processed, it becomes very simple. So let's say if I take a glass of water, if I put a grain of rice, it won't dissolve quickly. But if I put rice flour, you can see how fast it dissolves. So when you're eating those flour-based products, same thing happens in your blood. So it dissolves faster. The glucose goes into your bloodstream faster. And your liver instantly gets that load of glucose. And it says, oh my god, now what do I do with this load? It has to either convert into glycogen, store it either as a glycogen. If even my glycogen stores are full, then I convert into fat. So that's what happens with simple carbs, but not with complex carbs. But when you're eating complex carb, it takes time to digest, and liver is getting in packets. It's getting the glucose in packets. So it has time to process. And even meanwhile, your cells would be using that energy too. So in that way, uh, it doesn't have to be stored in any form. So the, the clarity about the carbohydrates is, right, you want to avoid the refined Carbohydrate. Carbohydrates, like white sugar, or like you know candies, and like you know cookies, and uh, ice creams, and like these, these, and Carbohydrate. and the white, or white, white rice, or white breads. These are all, these are all refined, simple carbohydrates. You want to avoid that. But the the carbohydrates that are unrefined, that are coming, 
like uh, as a package, you want to continue to eat them. So avoid the, avoid the simple uh, refined carbs, but uh, the potatoes, especially with the skin. And uh, uh, did we talk about the potatoes, the mighty potatoes? I think we should. Like, you know, the, the potatoes are one of the, the best, nature's best foods. Just a, just a, a medium-sized potato with the skin has about four grams of protein, four grams of fiber, more than 50% uh, of vitamin C, actually more vitamin C and more potassium than the peppers and uh, bananas, more manganese and more copper. So potatoes and also the research was done on potatoes like you know, when people ranked the foods that have the highest satiety, satiety means the filling effect. <clears throat> Right, which foods make you feel fuller, the number one food was potatoes. Right? So yesterday when we were putting in the bag, just two or three potatoes, it filled the bag. Yeah. So what makes a potato bad? We already mentioned yesterday. Mm -hmm. it's the, yeah, it's yeah. everything. It's, 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 it's the, the company. company. It's, the, it's the bad company it keeps with it. Yeah. Okay. So no more carb confusion. <coughs>